Um, well, this is a video I got to make about the present political situation in America. <coughs> um, what I urge Americans uh, to do um, is do things lawfully, because your your nation is uh, built upon laws. Um, now I know your churches, I know your false wolf, wolves in sheep's clothing pastors say that uh, the commandments of God no longer matter and all that stuff, but isn't it funny that um, the men and women who are involved in Benghazi and who have actually broken laws, very many hundreds of laws, your past few decades, you know, going back to Clinton, who you know, when there was trouble in the Balkans, instead of going and uh, fighting against the Muslims who were actually killing Christians, he went and murdered about a million Christians there in the Balkans during uh, Bill Clinton's era, which is a, is a thing that people just don't realize in America, that this administration has been um, bloodthirsty against Christians for about the past at least 20 years, at least 20 years. Um, and now that you get someone who's partial, I'm not saying he's, he's like a born again Christian, Donald Trump or anything like that, but the man is, is actually fighting for Christians around the world. And then you get these absolute idiots, I'll call them idiots because the definition of an idiot is someone who denies God, who walks contrary to the will of God, who, um, you know, speaks without... Um, instruction from the Lord, you know, you're get you getting all these uh, absolute nut jobs, you know, that if they were in their own country, they'd probably be stoned to death and they're standing with a mic, you know, this is, the, the, the state America is in is good as bad, up as down, left as right, you know, all the politics are muddled up, twisted up, um, it's absolute, they're, they're obviously the Illuminati are trying to do this they're, they're engineering society into sort of imploding in with, within itself. That they're trying to destroy America. And I believe that, you know, Donald Trump uh, is actually standing up for a lot of uh, good things. Um, and he's trying to defend a lot of Christians worldwide. He's trying to stop mindless violence and destruction and murder against the unborn babies. And he's actually standing up for a lot of great biblical. Um, things and so uh, you know isn't it amazing as I said that the past politicians have literally gotten away with murder right in front right before the entire world okay and the American people haven't stood up and did anything and now you get a man in office who's something like a Christian not as I said I'm not like saying the guy's a saviour or anything of that matter okay Jesus Christ is, is the saviour but, but why didn't you all stand up, uh, you know, against uh, the last the last president, you know, Barry Sotoro? Rightfully, um, Donald Trump uh, questioned his birth certificate. Rightfully, he actually questioned where he was uh, educated and no one could actually prove or remember him in the so-called establishment of education that he said he attended. And this is Barack Obama, you know. And all of these things are out in the open, and the American people are so, um, I think, just brainwashed, or maybe they're just all on drugs, prescription drugs, um, you know, soft and hard drugs. I mean, you you got to look at American society seriously in the inner cities and say, how many of these protesters are on some type of drugs? Um, how many of them are demon possessed? You know, how many of them actually hate the God of the Bible? And I think that you would you would get a high, high percentage, uh, you know, Third World War conflicts, um, you know, stirring all the nations around Israel like a hornet's nest. Basically, that's what they're trying to do. Destabilize the Middle East. They've been trying to do that for the past years and years and years, decades and decades. A few peaceful people trying to live in their original homeland, okay? Um trying to defend their their borders which every country has a right to do do you know what I mean so really think about this guys do it lawfully if you got protests do lawful protests 
you know, because uh, America being destabilized is probably the last thing that the West needs, you know. They're destabilizing the Middle East and the East through wars and all this stuff. And now they're trying to destabilize America. Um, the West is going to be destabilized, and it's just everything's just going to result in conflict, and we do not want that. That's the last thing we want. So please do things lawfully and prayerfully. So uh, this is all meant to be a backlash for Tony Blair going into Iraq, you know, 15 odd years ago. <laughs> Um, and what we're getting now is obviously um, a well-controlled assault on Christianity, a well-controlled well assault on freedom, uh, the freedoms of the British people, the freedoms of the American people, in fact, a destabilization of the West. Let's just see what these guys have got to say. There are a total of four different factions represented here this afternoon, both pro and anti-Sharia law. And demonstrations like these are a sight that's becoming more and more common on the streets of towns all over the UK and not just in London. And in fact, this is the second demonstration inside a week by an organisation called Muslims Against the Crusades, which promotes the introduction of Sharia law into the UK. Laura Emmett, RT, London. Take a look around you, boys. Take a look around you at this crowd. And there's the Mike Daddy himself, uh, George Galloway. It just reminds me of uh, a two-faced little lizard, you know. That um, I, I know that he's trying to bring like Tony Blair to justice and all of that, but um, standing there um, and basically inciting violence. Um, is just inexcusable. Let's let's hear what he's actually got to say. If you dare touch a hijab on a Muslim woman's head, if you dare, if you dare. So it's like, who would really want to anyway? Like, um, I've never actually heard of uh, Christian men. Um, really interested at all in any Muslim women, you know, any of the five to ten wives that Muslims have. And uh, the Christians, of course, were only allowed one wife. Uh, and while these Muslim men, um, some of them might be involved in Bakabazi, which is uh, child molestation, which a lot of the Imams have been, you know, it's a way of life in Pakistan and Afghanistan, you know. Um, so yeah, we, you know, I've never heard of uh, the rape of Muslims in Europe. What I've heard is gangs of uh, Muslims coming into Europe and raping uh, European women. That's what's been going on. But you think George Galloway is actually bothered about that because of the amount of oil? And well, he's already been in front of the American Senate. You know, we know he was. Um, he defended himself and so on. But it, this is just inciting violence against um, the British people. There's, there's nothing nothing else to say about that. And he should be ashamed of himself, George Galloway. If you dare touch the hair on the beard of a Muslim man in Tal Hamlets, you will have to fight your way through 10,000 dead bodies first. Thank you very much indeed. So, I mean, if, if that is not the most violently motivated speech you've ever heard, I mean, the guy the guy thinks he's like Braveheart and steroids, Braveheart and reverse. That You know, the only thing is that he's inciting the, uh, the outside nation into violence uh, against the home nation. It's like, it's just, uh, wow. And it's not up to the police to decide when we march, where we march, and how we march. But we want you to be here. But now we want you to go home. We want you to go home and tell your friends and families about the great day and the great march that you were on. We want you to go home peacefully. We want nothing to happen tonight that will reflect badly on Tower Hamlet. Guess what happens? Now 
this part of the Abroth Declaration, uh, the Christian Scots are very much um, understanding of the savagery which is, or the heathen, which rages against the Christians, as the sins of the Christians indeed have deserved. And so you see, it's like in the Bible when the Jews were disobeying God, God would raise up um, people to basically make the Jews call on God again. So that's the, the idea when there's pagan pagans raging against uh, Christianity. Um, a lot of the Christians are in fact quite deep in sin like they are today. And they need to call on the Lord. They're very complacent. A lot of them are in idolatry, which we've, we've discussed. Um, and these things are not acceptable to God, you know. Um, and so, you know, these even these covenanters were very, very aware why things were happening, you know. And, uh, you know, this is the real spiritual reason that, you know, the... Uh, What's, what's happening in America today, um, you know, you're getting real opposition here. And it's meant to purge the Christians, it's meant to cause the Christians to become more holy, more reliant on God, understand that there's no salvation but through Jesus Christ. You know, I was very surprised speaking to my friend the other day who said that we shouldn't um, evangelize Jewish people in case they become lawless. Well, see, that's not in your hands. That's not in my hands. You know, when a person accepts Jesus Christ, uh, simply um, understanding the power of God's Holy Spirit and how he wants to use us, um, and understanding um, that when you give your life to, to Jesus Christ, that, you know, um, you should continue to do that. Continue to do that. Um, a lot of us who are Christian experience great resistance experience a lot of lies that you know even ministry partners wives um who some people have experienced about us just being used and um, to further other people's agenda you know jesus christ says when a man uh you know um wants your coat you know give him your tunic also you know you know what i mean um like jesus is saying like your blessings don't come from man they come from him you know, it's a very deep understanding. It's, it goes beyond capitalism. It goes beyond socialism. It goes beyond um, any of the isms. And we're talking about a, um, a people who who are meant to love God, meant to love each other, meant to love their country. You know, and this man, I think, has been standing up for a lot of uh, Christians around the world who have been persecuted the past 10 years by the Obama administration. You know, we know that Obama was trying to give over two hundred and twenty million dollars to uh, Hamas, one of the one of the terrorist organizations um, there in Palestine in the Middle East. I mean, Israel only have one port, only one working port at the moment, um, maybe two, but they have one main port there in the north, and um, you know the other one is in Palestine. You see. Everyone needs Jesus Christ. I mean, I, me being a Christian, I would love the Jewish people to come to faith. I would love the Palestinians or the the Muslims to come to faith and recognize Surah 355. You know, God speaking about Jesus' death and that he would contend against those who contend against Jesus Christ because he is the key to salvation. He, his name means salvation. And Jesus himself in Surah 1933 speaking about his death and resurrection you know these these uh, parts of the the Quran are just not mentioned to Muslims and of course you know my heart's very much for the Jewish people if they just uh, call out to their their God the father you know their father uh, the Yote Vav He sincerely you know he will lead them to faith in his son Yeshua the Messiah he is the way to salvation you know it's, it's more than a more than a physical victory that God brought through his Messiah. It's a spiritual victory. It's a victory over death and hell. You know, that's, it's, um, it's, it's a far greater victory than the Jewish people can imagine. But yes, there'll come a time, I believe, that when a remnant of the Jewish people shall be um, 
delivered you know from their enemies in the last days according to Zechariah 14 uh, if you just read Zechariah 14 but this is the days we're living in you know we're getting very liberal Christian pastors saying that you know well it doesn't really matter about the commandments and what I would say about any political demonstration is do things lawfully the law has not been done away Jesus said I came to fulfill the law if you want to protest against um, you know Donald Trump saying that enough is enough about the immigration we already have enough Muslims there's not enough Christians being um, taken care of uh, there's not enough Christians um, you know being brought into a, a place of, of safety you know against the terrorists and this is very good but for some reason the liberals don't like this for some unknown reason it goes against human logic you know there really has been a war raging against Christianity even since the Clinton administration when he backed the Muslims against the Serbs the Serbs were mostly Christian so you're talking about the murder of uh, probably almost about half a million to a million Christians there in um, Serbia, Bosnia, in that part, in that region of the world and um, it's just a war, it's a secret war against uh, Christianity where were the Americans standing up protesting against this? I'm sure if they were it wasn't widely covered by the media you know because the media are just really picking up now on anti-Trump demonstrations and stuff like that <clears throat> but you got to play fair by the book otherwise um, things things will backfire on these liberals and that's just the way things work it's a sort of a uni universal law um, so yeah I mean if you're protesting do things lawfully but you know all this was caused like by the uh, Clinton administration all the murder of all of these Christians and Hamas and ISIS just coming in to Europe as a foothold in Europe to uh, cause terrorism so sh shame on a lot of the past American administrations and I think this is the first um, man you can call something like a real president who's pro-birth as well he had the right to challenge Obama's birth certificate because it was held in it wasn't an open thing it wasn't a public access document so you got to have questions on that. I mean, anyone with half a mind would understand that if somebody's trying to cover their past, they got things to hide, especially if they're in office. And now this is this is what we got, you know, um, Nazism and steroids, you know, and obviously the so-called Illuminati and the so-called uh, secret societies are promote, promoting this for their own agendas to bring forth the Antichrist. This is what they're doing. As we've gone over before, but we'll go over it again. You know, this is about the first website that I pulled up here, and it's uh, very true in its evaluation. Um, the three world wars make way for a one world government, world domination, um, a Masonic kingdom, which, uh, well, I'm not sure about that. I'm not even sure if the Masons know what 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 that is, what that will be. Um, again, just the higher echelons will just have an idea what that will be. The king of the blood of uh, Sion, the way it's spelled there, from the roots of David. And while there's a few royal lineages that that can maybe uh, claim claim that line, but it's seeing here the king of the Jews will be the real pope. But it's seeing here the king of the Jews will be the real pope. But he's saying here the king of the Jews will be the real pope. So this again is like uh, a big giveaway. You know that, that in fact the Jesuits are the ones that are uh, very much behind the learned elders of Zion. And you're getting this sort of mega, mega church thing going on here. World ruler will be the patriarch of an international church. Well, it'll probably be a one world religion, perhaps. Because they want... Uh, they want basically Zionism and Islam to sort of destroy themselves and then for them to have this uh, Antichrist reign um, after the Third World War that's what the learned elders of Zion are about and everything that's written there 
um, has, has come to pass so far. These, these things are becoming more and more uh, common. Um, you know, warnings to the president of Israel. You have no idea what the Jewish people have to face every day. Um, I believe everyone has a right to defend their own borders, a right to exercise their own beliefs. And if you want to reach the Jewish people for, for the Lord Jesus Christ, just understand that whatever denomination you're from has probably got more, more flaws in it than um, a lot of the things they observe. And so presenting Christ should be very much according to the Word of God, the fact that Yeshua came to fulfill um, the Passover Lamb. He is the Passover Lamb. He came to fulfill Pentecost, in other words, to give the Holy Spirit in His name. And this is a huge thing, but understanding His Hebrew name might shed light on for that for the Jewish people. You know, the name of Yeshua means Deliverer and Salvation. He came to deliver us not from an oppressive world leader or he will in the future but it's it's uh, to deliver us from death and hell or sin death and hell you see in that order and so you know Jesus came to give us salvation it's a spiritual salvation he gives us and then he comes to deliver us from from our enemies or he sends deliverers in order that um, his people um, can be used for for his glory. You know that the human mentality is like sheep, and so if they can publicize like this woman, if she was doing this in Saudi Arabia or wherever she came from, she'd be stoned on the spot. But maybe what she's actually saying is, or maybe Madonna would, would definitely be stoned on the spot. But I suppose this is uh, like into American society, you know, we can stand up for what we want. We've got a liberal society. But at the end of the day, there's, a, there's a, just a much larger war happening just now. And, um, you know, let's call for our judges, our so-called uh, religious people, pastors, ministers to stand up, condemn what is evil. And, um, you know, if, if Donald Trump is acting on behalf of Christians, well, I think it's somebody, about time somebody did, is it not? Is it not about time someone did? Um, hallelujah yeah beware of hidden agendas of course but at the end of the day these things have needed to be done for decades decades the fact that it's just happening now you know so let's continue to pray for our leaders guys and even pray for the Muslims as well who are stuck in this uh, absolutely terrible religion which uh, glorifies the flesh all the time you know it just seems to give men an open passport to rape and pillage and destroy but um, let's pray for these people's salvation as well hallelujah thanks for watching